Hello, I'm Marcus Prista and I'm the CEO or Chief Technology Officer of Xerion. And I'm Daniel Arfison, the CEO of Xerion. Uh, today we're going to show you the Xerion Internet Operating System, uh, an OS that we've been developing since 2001. Okay, so now we're going to show you how, to, how fast the operating system starts. And it's about 3 seconds. Uh, first you do is you log into the system. Uh, everything from this point is driven by XML. Uh, the desktop, the login, are applications running on the operating system. So if we move over to the other bigger screen, we have an already running Exiles there. Uh, you can see the Document Explorer application, you can see the System Manager, uh, you can also see a, a console application. Uh, and if you go to the System Manager, you can see that there are views, processes, documents, channels, and all the channels are like XML web services. Uh, so let's, let's go into the demo of the data binding concept. So here we have uh, a small application uh, and we also have a data document that this application is bound to. So the value SOA comes from this data document. And if you change the value in the application, uh, the data document automatically updates. So these are uh, an example of the intelligent data binding features of the operating system. When you do an application, you don't have to think about uh, how to propagate data back and forth to the data model and data documents. Uh, so if you open up the, the process document for, for this application, you can see a couple of operations, one opening the UI XML file and one binding the data XML to the UI component and the component was called text and you can see it there. And we're using XPath for the data binding. Uh, we also have a UI XML language and where you can see a view, a panel and you can see the input called text. Uh, so this is basically how you can do very simple data binding. Everything is uh, handled by the built-in transaction manager and collaboration support in the operating system. So if we close down these windows, uh, we can open up the balance scorecard application. Uh, and the balance scorecard application will show you one of the key features of the system, the, the collaborative support. Um, if you go into the measure, change values, for instance this has 6 right now, we can go and put in 8, you can see how, how the meter changed. So Marcus, what if you open up the balance scorecard on the other version, you can see how quick this XML application opens on the other screen, and uh, the short value right now says 20, so if you change this to something else, and we can see how, how the data uh, propagates back and forth between the two clients. And this is doing, done seamlessly over the internet with two different clients. Uh, and it's all catered and handled by the built-in operating system collaboration and transaction management engine. So if you go to the big screen again, Marcus, and open the system manager, uh, we can also watch all the transactions. Uh, and here you can see the transactions that have been uh, created in the system. So if, if we do a rollback, you can hit the rollback button, you can see that the system restores it to its previous state. So this quite sophisticated transaction engine is all built into the operating system. So as a developer you don't have to think about it, so you just develop your application and the data binding is there for you. Our system uses an XML version machine, uh, which means that it interprets and executes uh, XML files using XML languages that we have made. Uh, the languages themselves are made up in an MVC model, uh, where we have separate files for uh, logic, for the views, and for the data. And since everything in the system, including the logic files and the view files, are described in XML, uh, it's very easy to work and develop new applications in the system.